Ever wondered why you go round and round in circles and have a hard time lowering your A1C even though you already cut out the carbs, you avoid fruits, and yet there's no great improvement in your health and maybe your type 2 diabetes is even worsening? Why is that? This is because nobody talks about lipotoxicity. Lipotoxicity means that fat is building up in your body in places that it shouldn't. Basically, your body is designed to store fat in fat tissue tissues, which means adipose tissues. However, when those cells are full from excess dietary fat or chronic overeating, the fat spills over to other organs and that is when it becomes dangerous. Fat in your muscle cells or in your liver, in your pancreas can affect affect your blood sugar levels and can cause type 2 diabetes to manifest or even worsen. So even if your body is still making insulin, your cells ignore it and what happens is that your body needs to make even more insulin so that your cells can listen to it. But if you don't solve the issue of lipotoxicity, then the cells become even more insulin resistant and your body keeps pumping out insulin where it becomes a vicious cycle where eventually your body may get tired of pumping out insulin one day where you have to rely on exogenous insulin. A landmark study showed that intramyocellular fat, which means fat in the muscle cells, is directly associated with insulin resistance. Another study in cell metabolism also found that saturated fat intake can trigger the buildup of toxic lipid byproducts in muscle and liver cells, impairing insulin signaling. But what's even more fascinating is that there are studies showing that plant-based diets can indeed reverse lipotoxicity a study showed that a low-fat plant-based diet was able to help people improve insulin sensitivity and reduce liver fat in people with type 2 diabetes. Now, you don't have to be completely vegan or vegetarian to reduce lipotoxicity if you don't want to. It's about adding more plants into your diet and reducing your saturated fat intake. So don't be scared if you don't want to give up meat just yet. You really can still do this by adding more plant-based foods to your diet. So what actually happens when you eat a high fat meal. When you eat a high fat meal, it gets broken down to free fatty acids. But when your fat cells are full or overwhelmed, your body starts depositing fat into your muscle and liver cells. And these cells are not designed to hold fat. So the fat starts interfering with insulin receptors. As a result, glucose can't get into the cells and it stays in your blood. And that is how you get high blood sugar, which can increase your your A1C, which is your average blood sugar, and that's when you may have type 2 diabetes or pre-diabetes. So what can you do about it? The good news is lipotoxicity is reversible. When you lower your saturated fat intake, increase fiber intake, eat more plant-based foods, your cells will actually start to clear out the fat. Eat more beans, lentils, greens, whole grains, tofu, and ditch the butter, cheese, processed oils, and red meat, and make sure you include daily movements, make sure you stay hydrated and this combination will help you reverse insulin resistance. If you want to work with me and my team where we've helped over a thousand people reverse type 2 diabetes, just join the reversing diabetes system. Click the link in the description below and we are more than happy to help you on this journey.